Let us now discuss the fourth model from profit and loss, which is again a very popular question in bank exams. Let us have a look at the first example. The question is, Sridhar sold 16 pence at the cost of 20 pence. What is the profit or loss percentage made by him? So as you can see here, the question says, Sridhar has sold 16 pence at the cost price of 20 pence. And from this data, we are supposed to find out the profit or loss in terms of percentage made by Sridhar. If you try to observe, nowhere in the question, either the cost price or the selling price of the pens have been specified. So generally, some students have a misconception that because the cost price or the selling price have not been given, we cannot find out the profit or loss percentage. And hence, they mark the answer as cannot be determined, which is absolutely wrong. This question can actually be answered even though the cost price and the selling price have not been given. So let us see how to solve this question. Let us assume that the selling price of each pen is S and the cost price of each pen is C. Now, if you read the statement here, Sridhar sold 16 pens. So, the total selling price must be 16 into S. Why? Because the selling price of each pen is S. So, total selling price here will be 16 into S. And these 16 pens were sold at the cost of 20 pens. That means, the selling price of 16 pens is equal to the cost price of 20 pens. If the cost price of each pen is C, the cost price of 20 pens would be 20 into C. So, from this we can say that 4S equals to 5C or S equals to 5C by 4. Now, we very well understand that 5 by 4 is nothing but 125%. So, we can say that the selling price here is equal to 125% of cost price. And as per our discussion in model 1, we know that if the selling price is 125% of the cost price, the profit is equal to 25%. So, we can say that the profit made by Sridhar here would be 25%. So, the correct answer is option number 2. So, friends, never mark the answer here as cannot be determined just because the selling price or the cost price have not been given. Simply with the quantities which are given here, we can find out the relationship between S and C and from that relationship, we can find out the profit percentage. This question can also be solved with the help of a shortcut formula. The formula here can be understood as follows. Let us assume that Sridhar has sold some quantity of pens. Let us assume he has sold M pens at the cost of N pens. M pens have been sold at the cost of N pens. So, to find out the profit or loss percentage in these type of questions, that is, if M pens or if M articles are sold at the cost of N articles, then the profit or loss percentage can be calculated as the percentage of profit or the percentage of loss will be equal to N minus M by M into 100. So, if you can simply remember this formula, the answer can be obtained directly that is n minus m by m into 100 where n is the quantity which is with respect to the cost price and m is the quantity with respect to the selling price. Now remember how should we decide whether the value that we have got is a percentage profit or a percentage loss that can be understood with the help of the sign that we get here. For example, if we get a negative answer then this should be taken as a percentage loss otherwise it should be taken as percentage profit. So, let us see how can we get the answer with this formula. Now, as given in the question, Sridhar sold 16 pens at the cost of 20 pens. So, very clearly n is equal to 20 and m is equal to 16. So, the answer should be 20 minus 16 divided by 16 into 100. So, this is equal to 4. 4 by 16 is nothing but 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 is equivalent to 25 percent. And since we have got a positive answer, this should be taken as 25% profit. And that is what we have obtained in the previous case. So, from this, it is very clear that you can solve the question either with the help of a relationship between selling price and cost price and then finding out the required answer in terms of percentage profit or percentage loss. Otherwise, use the formula that is n minus m by m into 100, where n is the quantity associated with cost and m is the quantity associated with the selling price. Let us now take one more example based on the model that we have discussed just now. The question is, Anirudh sold 21 books at the cost price of 18 books. Find the percentage profit or loss in this transaction. 
So as we can see here, 21 books were sold at the cost price of just 18 books. And we are supposed to find out how much is the profit or loss percentage in this transaction. As discussed in the previous example, such questions can be solved with the formula n minus m by m into 100, where n is the quantity associated with cost price and m is the quantity associated with selling price. So as you can see here, the cost price was for 18 books. So very clearly, n is equal to 18 and the number of books sold were 21. So selling price is for 21 books. So m is equal to 21. So let us substitute the values 18 minus 21 upon 21 into 100. So this will be equal to minus 3 by 21 into 100 and this can be taken as 1 by 7. So the final answer should be minus of 1 by 7 into 100. And from the knowledge of fractions into percentages, we know that 1 by 7 is nothing but 14.28%. So minus sign here indicates that this is a percentage loss. So the answer here should be 14.28% loss. So this is how such questions can be solved with the help of the formula n minus m by m into 100. Or otherwise, as discussed in the previous example, we can form a relationship between selling price and cost price and from which we can find out the profit percentage or loss percentage as required.